All right, welcome to the Vault Report, Xavier Basketball Edition. I'm here with head coach Sean Miller. I appreciate the time. How are you doing? How is the off season? Any rest? I don't know if you can call it the off season anymore, but how are things? Yeah, no, Nathan, thank you. It's uh, always great to be on with you. Um, we've had a good summer. Uh, we've also had uh, our fair share of adversity and obstacles, you know, with the health of Jerome Hunter and Zach Fremantle, you know, two what I would call returning starters from from last year in their respective careers. We've lost both of those guys, which doesn't usually happen in the middle of the summer. But uh, look, sometimes things bounce your way and then other times you have to overcome obstacles. Uh, I really do like our group. Uh, we have uh, 10 new players and uh, certainly we're very inexperienced. And I think that's that's what we have to help our team with. Definitely. And, I, you know, obviously I was going to start with those two. You know, obviously pillars going into the year. For you as a coaching staff, you know, is there anything specific you can speak to in terms of, you know, changes that you guys have to make, uh, you know, in terms of the style of play? Is it more, you know, next man up? Just how are you guys or how have you been able to look at what you have now and how are you guys going to move forward with, again, like you mentioned, two big pillars missing? Yeah, you know, as I say that, Nathan, it's it's almost, um, you know, the way I would explain it to you is it doesn't make sense for me to say we're deeper than we were a year ago when you start the conversation out, like we lost to Sule Boom, Adam Kunkel, Colby Jones, Zach Fremantle, Jerome Hunter, and Nunji, right? It's like, wow. Uh, and we did. We lost all of those guys. But the Achilles heel of our team a year ago was we didn't have great depth once you got past that six or group, the group of six or seven. This year, in fact, you know, I, I think just because of, of our recruiting and just how it's ended up shaping up. We have nine or 10 guys that are very similar. Um, and in addition to that, Desmond Claude, who I, I think is the one returner who played a lot a year ago on the all freshman team of the big East. He's made a big jump this summer. I think you'll see that right away. Des has always had a lot of ability and um, his game is really starting to catch up to his, to his ability and really love where he's at right now as a player. Yeah. And and you brought in, as you said, like you brought in very talented, experienced transfers. You know, I'll start, you know, quickly with Davion Quincy, two guards that can score the ball in bunches, shoot it, you know, efficiently. What has impressed you most, you know, just about seeing them every day? Yeah, Davion and Quincy, uh, you know, their careers speak for themselves, both from Conference USA. Davion played at Western Kentucky and Quincy played at Rice. Uh, different types of players, but I think they complement each other in our team very well. Uh, Quincy is an excellent shooter. Uh, one of the things that jumps off the page for us last spring when we were recruiting him is, you know, he made more than 93 point shots in a single season. Not easy to do. He can really score. He gets to the free throw line and physically uh, Quincy is strong. He is not a freshman. Davion is uh, very different. The, the consummate two way player can really defend on the ball in multiple positions, run your team, and he scores more inside the arc than he does outside the arc, but a winner. Uh, really love the intangibles he brings to the table. And those two really complement Desmond Claude very, very well. So I think if you see our team play well this year, you're going to see that our guard play uh, will be very good. We have to we have to have outstanding, consistent guard play. Absolutely. And also Usman, you know, experience from North Texas. You know, I saw, I loved his game, especially through that NIT run, a coveted transfer that you guys land. Just how important he will be for you guys in the front court. And again, anything that has surprised you, obviously you saw his tape, you wanted him, he's here, but something that maybe has surprised you, you know, this offseason and early practices. Well, Boo has been a part of a winning program at North Texas. I mean, he was in the game against Purdue in his freshman year when they beat Purdue in the NCAA tournament. He scored 800 career points. He's really um, one of college basketball's best offensive rebounders. If you if you look at his career, what he's been able to do, and we're really counting on him to be that offensive rebounder, veteran, winning player. Uh, I would also tell you that been just incredibly impressed with Abu's defense. He knows what to do and how to do it. You know, if you follow North Texas and Grant McCaslin, they they have been one of the best defensive teams in college basketball. And Abu's been a real part of that, not just last year, but multiple years. So he brings the experience and the know-how defensively to us. And I also think in this conference, you have to have some toughness to what you do. Uh, Abu certainly has that. 
Definitely. And, you know, I feel like high schoolers have, have taken a little bit of a backseat recently, you know, just with the transfer portal and everything. Uh, but somewhere, obviously, you're still recruiting any, you know, you look at the, the new guys coming in, uh, what they can contribute, you know, in year one, which is obviously really hard to do, especially in a conference like the Big East. But what you like most just kind of about this freshman class. Well, we have six of them, um, you know, two of them are incoming freshmen from Europe. Uh, Sasha Siani, who's from Slovenia, is a Lazar Djokovic, and no relation to the, the tennis player, but from the same country, Serbia. Yep. So you have Sasha Siani and uh, Lazar Djokovic. Uh, love both of those guys. I, I think you'll see right away, Nathan, that uh, both uh, have great size. Sasha is about six foot 10, and uh, Lazar is right there with him. Lazar is more face up and uh, Fast twitch, run, move, jump. I think you, when you see him, his athleticism really is striking for somebody as young as he is and as big as he is. Where Sasha is like the the throwback old school center. So if you think about Abu Usman and you think about you know Sasha, uh, those those two guys really can be a one two punch at the center position. And then uh, the other front court player for me to talk about who's a freshman is Kachi Enze and, and Kachi. Um, you know, he's not an international player. His family's originally from from Africa, but, you know, he, he comes the way of, of a traditional high school here. But he, Kachi is six foot nine, also very bouncy, uh, athletic. I love his determination. And I think he can really develop into that, that two-way player that all of us covet, you know, where he blocks shots and huge quickness on defense and then offensively, great offensive rebounder and getting more skilled as he gets older. So those are three incoming freshmen along the front line um, that we're going to count on. And then, you know, I think for me to continue, Trey Green is somebody who's going to be pivotal to our team's success. Uh, a lot like Sule Boom in the backcourt for us a year ago, Trey has the gift of really being able to shoot the ball. I mean, as good of an incoming freshman shooter as I've been around, and he's going to play both the one, and he could play with Davion McKnight there as well. Uh, two wings to to just round out our freshman class: Daylon Swain and Reed Ducharme. Uh, again, both guys bigger, six 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 seven wings. Uh, Daylon is the youngest player on our team with a huge upside, and Reed is somebody who comes you know, via Brewster, played against some great competition a year ago. Uh, can score the ball, has a toughness about them that we really like. I really highlight those six freshmen, though, because to your point, you can be fixated on the transfer portal and the older players, and we have some of those. But in our case, uh, I love our freshman class. I, I think that each of the six have a bright future. Obviously, it's up to us as a staff and program to develop them. But um, those three front court players and three guards – you know, the better they do, the more they develop, the more they can help us, Nathan, in this first year, the better overall season we will have. We're forced to really, not forced in a negative way, but, you know, we're forced to play them based on Jerome and Zach getting injured and how our team is shaped up. Absolutely. And just last question, you know, you look at this conference, uh, if you were fully healthy and had all your guys, you know how tough it is. Obviously, you know, with the new coaches coming on, you know, Cooley at Georgetown, you have Patino coming in, English at Providence, and just the Big East as it is, and you look at what this year is going to be. And again, as you know, one of the best conferences in college basketball. How much does this year, with some of these, you know, I don't want to say setbacks, I mean, now you guys obviously are moving forward, but kind of excite you in terms of the challenge, knowing you're playing in the best conference, and you, you get, like you said, you're going to have some guys that are going to have to step up that maybe you didn't have to or didn't need necessarily, you know, before these injuries occurred. No, you're right. Uh, we're going to be the underdog at times, and we have to wear that with a lot of pride. When you watch us play, we also have to develop into that team that nobody really wants to play because they know that the trajectory that we're on is improvement and upside. You know, we have a, a ceiling that we're nowhere close to being near because we have not only 10 new players, but other than Desmond Claude, we, we don't really have that one guy that was out there last year. So everything's new to this group, including the fact that, uh, that freshman class, we're going to count on them to play. Uh, I don't know if that bodes well for us in this year's Big East. I believe we're playing in America's number one conference. The coaching, the returning talent, the home court venues, and just really what the Big East is all about. I mean, to play and to coach in this conference, 
to go to Madison Square Garden every every spring and early March, you know, it's an honor. It's it's like a I think a badge that all of us wear with a lot of pride. Uh, for me, having played in the Big East many years ago, um, you know, it's 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 a return to something that you know when you're in it now as a coach, you start to recollect and remember those feelings as a player where you're like, wow, this is awesome. This is the best, you know. But every night is a battle, home or away. And the other part for us is we're around Robin conference. We play 20 games. We play 10 at home, 10 on the road. It's not like you look at our schedule and say this year we don't play such and such. No, we, we play everybody. And that's the other thing that we're going to get a lot of credit for as a conference. But as it applies to Xavier, uh, I came here about a year and a half ago and we had a magical run last year, you know, 15 and five in the big East and the sweet 16, and even getting to the championship game in Madison Square Garden in a Big East tournament, that was a thrill. Uh, so, you know, we have to learn from those lessons. It's a brand new deal for us this year. And uh, my hope is that we can really put it together and hit our stride at some point with as many new faces as we have. Absolutely. Well, listen, Coach, I appreciate it. I love what you said, too, about the Big East. One of my favorite things, you know, you just look at the conference realignment and everything. And especially the time when people thought the Big East was dying just to see it come back. And obviously a lot of it has to do with great coaches, you know, like yourself. But uh, like you said, it's the best basketball conference. And, uh, you know, looking forward to you guys uh, battling out there. And I appreciate the time as always. Thank you, Nathan. Great, great uh, being on with you. I appreciate it.